Hey, any fish. Second day of February 2022. I do pray you well. This right here, I just see so many people putting their hope in these movements that we see, and they're removing the mandates and all the evils being revealed. I understand it, I see it, but I'm here to tell you that it's all leading to a great, great deception. Your hope is going to be smashed if you're putting it in man. When you see things like this, okay, one of the club members, billionaire club, and he's supporting the convoy, and then going back here, he's been very aggressively developing self-driving semi-trucks. You need to understand that he don't care about the truckers because they're going to replace them. And that's all there is to it. Here's a little piece of his presentation five years ago. Where do you think they're at now? I, I can drive this thing and I have no idea how to drive a semi. <laughs> and it only gets better than this. Now, one truck, one, a Tesla truck considered by itself beats other diesel trucks. But what if you have a convoy? But what if you have a convoy? But what if you have a convoy? So what if you have t a, a trucks, two trucks following? So you, you're, you're, you're more like a train, dr train driver. In fact, um, the, the convoy technology, the tracking technology, this is something that we are confident we can do today 10 times safer than a human driver. This is something that we are confident we can do today 10 times safer than a human driver. So this is, I want to be clear, this is something we can do now. Now if you look at the economics of a truck convoy, it gets way better. What this means is it's, it's not just economic suicide to use one diesel truck, it's economic suicide for rail. This beats rail. And that's, that's I think, really quite, quite profound. Um, we're, we're confident that this is a product that is better in every way from a feature standpoint, that wins on economics against uh, uh, diesel trucks in a worst case scenario, and that defeats rail um, in a convoy scenario. And pr production begins 2019. So Elon and the club are for the truckers. They're for the autonomous truckers. That's what they're for. I'm simply showing you the facts. It won't be long. You won't even need a driver. They are confident back in 2017 that we could do this today. Just think about where they are now. where this is headed. God bless all these truckers and all these people up in Ottawa and around the world. But you got to understand you're, you're not seeing the full scale of the warfare that you're engaged in and how it reaches much deeper than skin and flesh and bone. It's to your soul. And Jesus Christ is the key. Accept him as your savior. Allow him to reveal to you the reality of what you're seeing or else as i always say you will be deceived now understand these are going back years all this stuff i'm showing you now we have the 5g going in we'll build a 5g network to make that future possible we're going nationwide 
5G will fuel radical mobile innovation that makes our lives simpler and becomes essential the second we experience it. We're planning for a 5G future that covers you from coast to coast and everywhere in between. We won't stop. Everything's good to go. They don't need the truckers. What they need is population reduction. But beware, beware of false light and false hope, and do not put your faith in man. Elon Musk says Canadian truckers rule. Elon Musk is not your friend. So, there you go. God bless y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 